Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so today it's going to be Matthew Calabari Sr. Calabari, like the thing you order at Italian restaurants, fried or grilled or however they make it, uh, you know, uh, octopus. So Matthew Calabari Sr., who was a bodyguard and is now the Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of Trump Org. Okay, so this guy, I couldn't even wiki him. I mean, he doesn't even have that information. I did see, though, a lot of references to his uh, LinkedIn uh, page, but I didn't check the LinkedIn page because I got the information already. But here's what I could uh, scrape off the Internet, not very much, about Matthew Calamari, who, interestingly enough, he's the executive the vice president and chief operating officer of uh, Trump Org. So here we go. So Matthew Calamari was born on August 12, 1956, and that makes him a Leo. He's 62 years old as of today and lives in Glen Head, New York, New York. Uh, he went to the New York Institute of Technology, but I don't know when. And uh, he was noticed by Trump in 1981. So he was noticed by Trump after he took down two men disrupting a tennis game at the U.S. Open and began working as Trump's bodyguard in 1981. Now, years later, he was named as, ex and I don't know how many years, uh, but he went from bodyguard to executive vice president and chief operating officer. Numerous sources indicate his duties were chiefly uh, involved security. Uh, he's been named as a powerful behind-the-scenes figure in Trump world for 35 years and described as daunting, intimidating, while others say he's efficient and quite professional. Now, in 1993, in a biography called uh, Lost Tycoon about Trump, uh, there's a scene uh, describing Trump calling to Calamari from the back of his limousine to test Calamari's loyalty. So apparently Calamari's either driving or in the uh, passenger seat and Trump's in the back and he says to him, Trump says to him, you'd do anything for me, wouldn't you, Matty? And um, the uh, Calamari responds, yes, sir, Mr. Trump. And uh, anything at all? Yes, sir, Mr. Trump. Would you kill for me, Matty? Yes, sir. Would you kill for me, Matty? Donald repeated as if he was a cheerleader. And, yes, sir, Mr. Trump. Would you kill for me, Matty? Donald Trump said again, and even in a louder voice, yes, sir, Mr. Trump. See Donald Grin turning back towards Fitzsimmons. I don't know who Fitzsimmons is. Somebody riding in the car. Matty would kill for me. Who wants somebody to kill for them? Anyway. Okay, 1995 BuzzFeed the news says that a complaint filed in the New York State Supreme Court alleges Calamari and Trump's brother-in-law, James Graw, who's married to Trump's sister Elizabeth, and other Trump employees, uh, Dominic Pezza and uh, Michael Nicole. Michael Nicole, that's an interesting name, uh, broke into some guy Barushi's office uh, where Barushi's wife and child were and commenced to interrogate, push, threaten. The woman fainted. Her child was also pushed, and the pair were held for more than an hour until police arrived because somehow Barushi uh, called the office and had someone call the police. And um, so that's what that was. And that was all because Barushi was supposed to uh, testify uh, to uh, Trump uh, board of directors or something like that about um, uh, misuse of company funds. So Barucci had the details and Trump didn't want him to have them. Okay, so now, in 2006, Calamari was paid over $4,000 by the Trump presidential campaign, according to federal election commission reports, plus expense reimbursements. Now, in 2019, before Congress, Michael Cohen testified that Calamari and Weiselberg would have knowledge of whether Trump inflated the value of his assets for insurance purposes. Michael Cohen explained to Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, what you do is you deflate the value of the asset, then you put in a request to the tax department for a deduction, uh, Cohen responded. Ocasio-Cortez asked uh, if Trump provided inflated assets to insurance companies. Yes, Cohen says, and Trump organization uh, executive Alan Weiselberg, Ron Lieberman, and Matthew Calamari could corroborate, corroborate this. Now, Calamari's son, Matt Calamari Jr., who's 25 years old, also works for Trump Org um, as a um, security official. And he picked up, someone said, uh, somebody who used to work there says, oh yeah, he picked up the security business from his dad. Uh, Calamari lists his title on LinkedIn, it's so crazy there on LinkedIn, as Trump Org Organization's Director of Surveillance. Now in 2021, both Calamaris retained Nicholas Gravanti Jr. as their attorney for advanced investigations. Pretty, pretty interesting. So we're going to ask a few questions about this uh, 
these octopuses, these calamaris. Okay, so this is the Visconti Tarot, and this is a um, Los Carabillo uh, deck here. These are gilded, and they're very cool to um, to use. I just don't know that they show up as well on the camera as they look in person. Um, I don't think they do. The uh, instruction booklet that comes with them is, you know, run-of-the-mill. It's in a couple different languages, I think. And um, so it's fine. Now the cards are, you know, regular shape and, and the cool thing about them is the gilding uh, that's on them. So that's what's so very nice. I mean, in person, they're really amazing, amazing. And I don't think they show up this well on the camera, um, but, um, but they're still fun to use. And there's some people that this really gilded look of card really is the right, or some situations where this is the right thing to use. So I spread these out so that you can get a look at them and see what kind of different cards are. I've got quite a few decks. And um, what I do actually is I use credit cards that give me uh, uh, cash benefits. And then that's what I use to buy these cards with. So there you go. So if you think you'd like these Visconti Tarot, then you should give them a try. You know, this calamari thing, how bizarre uh, is this? Um, security guard to chief operating officer. Um, I don't know. I just don't get it. So this is how Trump ran his business. And this is how Trump expected to run the country. And it's how he tried to run the country. I mean, it's just some of those shocking, <laughs> insane things. I've ever heard in my life. So Calamari, Matthew Calamari, Matthew, Mr. Uh, fried Octopus. Oh, he's gonna be fried, isn't he? So he has the key. I mean, him and Weiselberg know everything and uh, Cohen uh, already confirmed that and Cohen was in the middle of making all those deals anyway. So let's see, what are we gonna ask? I'm gonna say, and then there's the son, there's the Matthew Jr. who got a job uh, because of his dad. Um, so, he has to have information. We're going to ask, will he reveal uh, information to the authorities that will um, bring down Trump or That's what I'm going to say. Will Calamari, either Calamari, the father or the son, reveal information to the authorities that will bring down Trump org? For the second part of that question, on this Celt full Celtic cross, I'm going to ask... Will Calamari do jail time? Okay, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Put these over here and get going on this divination. The question is, Matthew Calamari, uh, Executive Vice President, Chief Operating Officer, been with the company for what was it 40 years forever uh is he going to spill the beans uh on trump org uh, with information that'll help bring him down it'll be the first part second part of the card is wow the world the world is the end of a cycle calamari is representing the end of a cycle. And I thought these gilded cards would just be perfect for this uh, gilded age kind of story that we're looking at. Okay, so yeah, that's the end. That's the end of Trump world. Oh my God. The challenge to that is uh, what? The challenge to that is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is always, uh, you know, just having so much. So this uh, means a lot of things. This means having so much wealth, which is what they wallowed in uh, while they were criming all these years. And it also represents the wealth of knowledge that he has that he will turn over to save himself and his son. That's what's challenging the end of the era. Uh, the basis of this reading then is the Nine of uh, Wands. And the Nine of Wands is really being embattled. So this guy is really feeling the heat. He's a year younger or older. He's a year older than me. So he's really feeling uh, the heat. And he's really embattled with all these worries. And I can't imagine at my age having these kind of, uh, 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 this is life-threatening uh, things against you. My goodness. 
Okay, that's the mind. The uh, past of this part of this reading whoo, whoo, is the tower has fallen, and it's in the past. So th they're telling us that this has happened. This has happened. It's waiting to be revealed. In the sky of this reading is the um, ace of uh, <laughs> the ace of, of coins, and the ace of pentacles is a great, big, huge, valuable uh, offer, and that's what he has to give the authorities. Has to be. And then the likely outcome for this part of this is the, uh, and who are you, dear? The moon, oh, secrets being revealed. Oh, my God. The likely outcome of this is the moon card, secrets being revealed. And I hope you can see it right there. It tells you in English that this represents the moon card. There is the moon. And so this is secrets being revealed. Sometimes these, these, these things are just so scary to me, uh, the way the cards uh, work perfectly for the, with the question. So for the last part of this, I'm going to ask if he will avoid and his son if he and his son will avoid going to jail okay the signifier for that then is going to be what wow oh my goodness these are partnerships these are the, the lovers this is card number six of the major arcana and you see right here these are lovers so these are making deals will he avoid going to jail what's the self of this thing is is the lovers making deals man um they're in the environment of what the environment of what they, oh my god the fool so I hope you can see right here, this is the Fool. So this is the Fool card. And this is new uh, beginnings, a new journey. Um, it, there was an end right here. And so this is the beginning of something new for him, which I think is going to be a lot less gilded than these cards are now. Um, the um, hopes and the fears of the situation uh, for that are, let's see, this is the Page of Cups. Page of Cups, pages of messenger cups or emotions. So this would be bringing... This would be bringing a great big offer. This is a great big emotional offer that he's bringing. So he's not just bringing all this information. This is tearing these worlds apart. And he's just, you know, he's, he's, he's executive vice president, COO. He's nobody. He just happens to be in the room and is encouraging these things along. And he's going to bring this and offer it up. That's the hopes and the fears. And the final outcome for all of this then is going to be right here. And this is the King of Wands. So this is being the master of his plans. The King of Wands is king of, of the plan that he's got to save himself and his kid. Yep. he They will be safe. He'll bring it forward. He'll spill his guts. It's the end of an era. It's the beginning of a new era for him. And um, they'll be okay. Every time this happens so specifically, it really um, just shocks me all over again. I got to chill. But... Um, so the uh, the question was, will he does he have the secrets? And the signifier card was uh, the world card, which is the end of an era. It's the very last card of the uh, major arcana. And then uh, challenged by um, you know having a, just a wealth of information to give. But what was so interesting here is in that first part of, the, of that Celtic cross, the past revealed the uh, <laughs> the crumbling tower in the past. So that tells me that this has happened. This is decided. It's either happened in his mind, who knows what he's going to do to save himself and his kid, or it's actually already happened. He's revealed the information. And up in the sky, that was a great big ace of pentacles, a great big offer of value. Now, the uh, self of this whole thing asks us, will he and his kid uh, go to jail? And the <laughs> the self of that was uh, the lovers. So he's making partnerships to avoid that. And then the environment that, that was in was the fool. And that's a brand new journey. So... It's almost like witness protection, you know, where they give somebody a new identity, but he's going to come clean, and uh, I think that they will not be go to jail. Um, and that ended up with him, oh, I forgot to tell you, the likely outcome of the first part of that was the moon card, Secrets Being Revealed. But anyway, in the end, the likely outcome of the whole thing leaves him as the king of wands, the king of plans. He's got the plan to save himself and his kid, and he's made his mind up already whether he's done it or not. This has happened. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.